Now, add his range to the left, right, up high, and down low, and chance potential target size. How does the equation change when we examine three dimensions? By adding his forward and backward mobility, the z-axis, Chad's range blows the elephant away. Look at it this way. If a quarterback had to choose between an elephant going across the middle or Chad, he should aim for Ocho. Because Chad's total reach covers the best part of the experiment. When the ball hits a different body part, left toe, butt, left heel and right heel, like pings of radar, all those areas say more the ball hits his body, the more information his brain has to work with. Odds of a QB throwing a pinpoint pass are good. The NCAA average completion percentage is just above 50%, so we'll call it one in two. We already know the odds of getting a perfect prolate spheroid bounce off the chest. One in 180. A perfect bounce off the foot? Again, one in 180. Finally, what are the chances that Davison is in diving range? According to our statistician, no better than 1 in 50. Since a running back in flight doesn't have to worry about landing on his feet, he can really lay it out. He doesn't have to reach 10 feet to the rim. He just has to get over the goal line. Dominic's maximum flight soared a stunning seven yards horizontally and almost six feet vertically. Plenty of air to clear a morphing line of scrimmage. But Dominic's flight was unchallenged, so we wanted to dial up the difficulty. Now, add his range to the left, right, up high and down low, and chance potential target size balloons how does the equation change when we examine three dimensions? By adding his forward and backward mobility, the z-axis, Chad's range blows the elephant away. Look at it this way. If a quarterback had to choose between an elephant going across the middle or Chad, he should aim for Ocho. Because Chad's total reach covers the best part of the experiment. <laughs> 